Hello guys, welcome to Tech Tips. In this video, I will show you how to install operating system without USB or DVD. So let's get started. Uh, consider this as your main PC. Uh, now, uh, now you need to shrink uh, 5 GB, 5 GB from your uh, hard disk. Let's do it first. Okay, now copy Windows 7 DVD files onto that partition. I'll be back then. And now your files are copied. Uh, in the risk management, uh, the system reserved partition is the active partition. The active partition ensures that the system boots properly. Now we have to switch this active partition to this one. So just right click and then mark partition as active. Click S. Once you have done that, uh, you cannot boot into Windows 8.1. Now it will boot directly into the files which have been placed over here. Okay. Just restart your PC. Here it is. Uh, the files placed on the 5 GB partition is uh, booting now. Uh, what you have to do is you just let the installation done. You just completely install the operating system, and then I will be back. Just install the operating systems uh, using normal procedures. I will be back then. Once the installation is completed. You can uh, and the system is restarted. You can find two options. Uh, the first uh, Windows 7 is the normal operating system, and here is the Windows setup is the installation file. So every time you restart the system, you will be you will be looking at uh, these two menus. If you want to install the operating system, you can straight away hit enter uh, by selecting this menu, or else you can uh, load into the Windows 7 by selecting this and pressing enter on your keyboard. So this is the fastest way of installing operating system uh, and this method is mostly recommended for uh, personal computers <coughs> as not to use uh, USB or DVDs every time. So that's it, the operating system is installed successfully. If you feel uh, that the boot um, if you feel that uh, both the menus are looking annoying and you don't want to look at uh, every time you restart the PC, uh, you can straight away go to this uh, MS config command and go to boot and click on this and delete. That's it. Good, apply. Okay. So if you restart the system now, you will never get that uh, menu. It will straightly load into Windows 7 and mm, so this is our 5 GB partition which contains the Windows 7 files uh, if you want to install uh, any other operating systems uh, maybe 8 or anything else you can uh, straight away assign a drive letter open the open and uh, delete all those files and copy the latest operating system files into this drive and once you boot to the boot to this directory everything goes fine so if you want to uh, in case if you copy the windows 8 uh, directory files into this directory mm, you need to add a boot entry uh, boot entry for this uh, for to load into this drive so uh, let me show you to boot into 
the, this directory you know you need to add uh, entry that uh, specifies this volume uh, so for this purpose uh, ecbcd is a software used to add boot entries so just download this uh, software and open it now you go to this uh, add new entry and uh, specify the directory which needs to be booted and specify the name uh, uh, in my case it is f and then click add entry that's it uh, so now when you restart your pc you will get uh, that uh, two menus if you don't want you just click on it and click delete that's it so thank you for watching my video uh, thank you